What's up, everybody? It's the Roundtable Sports Podcast. Today, we're taking a look back at the top 25 plays from Antonio Gibson in the 2020 season with the Washington football team. And the Washington football team suffered from some up and down quarterback play, to say the least, especially early on in the season. But Antonio Gibson certainly made the most of his opportunity. Now, those opportunities were limited because there weren't a lot of sustained drives. The quarterbacks weren't really completing a lot of third down passes to give Antonio a lot of attempts. But what he did do was show that a man with a six foot two twenty eight frame with a whole lot of speed can do a lot of things behind Scott Turner's offense. And despite some weak edges at the offensive line, even though I like the interior of the Washington football team line, Antonio was able to find those edges with his speed and with his shiftiness, and he was able to you know use that speed to outrun linebackers and get extra yards. And I like the way that he looked this last season even with the limited opportunity that wasn't just limited by the quarterbacks he also had JD McKissick in tow who was getting a lot of the passing game work but I worked hard and it wasn't really that hard actually to include a bunch of the passing game work for Antonio as well because I do believe that he catches the ball with ease and would be a big benefit to the Washington football team for them to utilize him in the passing game as well because it allows the team to be multiple and do different things with him in the backfield and it doesn't really tip their hand to have him back there as a matter of fact Steve Kime has said that they want him to run more routes which he's absolutely capable of Ron Rivera has come out and said that he expects a bigger role for Antonio Gibson really the only thing that's holding him back is the lingering turf toe injury that he may or may not still be dealing with so the sky's the limit for this guy he's being drafted at the back end of the second round about pick 19 currently as it stands I got to think that's going to continue to go up as people consider what this guy can be to this offense. If Ryan Fitzpatrick and Taylor Heineke can continue to deliver competent quarterback play to the Washington football team, I got to think that that's going to mean more sustained drives, more touches, more goal line touches, which Antonio dominated last year. And then if they're counting on him to be more featured and to run more routes as well, that spells top 10 running back for fantasy purposes. And that's something we're absolutely interested if we can get into him at the end of the third round or in the second round that's a big deal for fantasy owners to have that kind of confidence and certainly JD McKissick looms and I do like his skill as well but at the same time I you know when you see Antonio run in open field when you see him use his shiftiness and the amount of power that he has because of his size as well it's a beautiful thing to watch and he's just a rookie if he's able to add a little bit of bulk to his frame and get a little stronger I gotta think the sky's the limit and that should boost his sustainability as well because he can absolutely run through the tackles through too. you know you see a lot of these break to the outside but he's absolutely capable of taking it up the middle as well that's where a lot of the most successful running backs find their success is they're able to do all these different things and the defense can't key on one